was upset. They got everything they wanted. Hamas was upset. Fatah was upset. Hezbollah was upset. The Iranians, of course, made out like uh, drunken terrorists. All those regimes, all those entities. And yet we have so-called historians in this country, pretend historians, leftists. Parade Obama as the number eight greatest president in American history. Reagan's number nine. Can somebody please tell me? Somebody please tell me, what did Obama do that was fundamentally supportive of America, that was historic? As a matter of fact, Mr. Call Screener, you picked two or three lines that I want to open up. The question for leftists out there, or Democrats, or both, why would Obama be the number eight greatest president in American history? What did he do that was so great in pushing Reagan to number nine? I can't think of any. Greg, Zito, New York, and the Mark Levin app. Go ahead. Hi, Mark. It's an honor. Mark, I wanted to bring up a point that I've not heard said anywhere about bump stops, and that is that if you shoot a fully automatic weapon, you maintain rearward pressure on the trigger, and the gun keeps firing. And it's the same thing with the bump stop. The shooter's finger is going back and forth. But the, the shooter isn't doing that. They're just keeping the trigger pulled back and the gun keeps shooting. And it seems like if you have something that bypasses the strict requirements of a class three license to get out the same on. as an automatic weapon, just to be technical, because you raised the point, not me. It does not shoot as fast as a machine gun or a fully automatic weapon, period. It is a rudimentary way speeding up shooting. I never even occurred to me to purchase it. Obviously it occurred to the 64-year-old mass killer in Las Vegas to purchase it. So they'll go ahead and outlaw it. And we're still gonna have mass murder in this country. Go ahead and outlaw it. It's the first time it's been used, and I suspect it'll be the last. Don't you think that it's a, a really fine line legally that it's true that the person, the shooter's finger's going back see, and forth? See, this is the problem, a fine line legally. When you start writing laws, it's always a fine line legally. What's an automatic weapon? What's a semi-automatic weapon? Nobody heard of a bump stock before Las Vegas. Even people who've owned guns for 40 years, I never heard of one. They've owned guns for 10 years. Okay, it's a fine line, so I want and that wouldn't have done a damn thing in Florida. What do you want to outlaw next? We need to be ahead of these killers, so we need to be outlawing things before they use them, right? Isn't that the point? Well, right? no, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a gun owner, and in fact, I owned a device that they sold many years ago called a BATF activator, and it clipped in your trigger guard, and it basically turned the gun into a gatling gun. You had to keep cranking the handle. So what happened? Well, each one, I, I got rid of it, but each one came with a little... No, 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 I didn't ask you that. Were those outlawed? I don't think it is. Because, Why not? Because by definition, you have to keep moving it for the gun to keep shooting. Okay, so what? Okay, but with a bump stock, you're not doing that. You're just maintaining a rearward, rearward pressure. Sir, sir, sir. Well, get rid of the bump stock. And let me tell you something. Thousands and thousands of people are murdered every year with a pistol. The vast majority of people in this country that nobody thinks about, ever, are murdered with pistols. They're murdered by gangs. They're murdered in our inner city. Now what do you want to do about it? Bump stock has no consequence, no effect whatsoever on the thousands and thousands of people who are slaughtered in the inner cities with illegal handguns. Now what do you want to do about it? I agree with that. I don't think the... You want to make illegal handguns illegal? You want to make murder illegal? What do you want to do? <laughs> I don't think the ATF, for one thing, does enough for the people that are prohibited and still try to buy. A lot of times... So, the answer is, more government, even though the government fails. More FBI, even though the FBI failed here and has failed in about a half a dozen cases, despite the fact, in this last case, it was handed to them. 
but can you really say the FBI failed? What, what did they I really... not only have said it, I've said it repeatedly, and I've said it from day one. What do you mean, can I really say the FBI failed? Hey, said they failed. They failed to follow their protocol. But, but he made a generic threat saying, I want to be a professional school shooter. Well, why don't, why don't you make a generic threat and see how you're treated, pal? Well, look, why don't you make a generic threat? A generic threat. A friend, acquaintance, a family member of his contacts the FBI, says he's gathering weapons, he's very, very dangerous, he's threatening to kill people at school. Well, that's a generic threat. Now, that's a pretty damn good lead. But was it enough to... You know what? You're a phony. You're a phony. You're an absolute phony. You're a gun control ideologue. And I can tell. Don't call me about all the guns you own and how much you love Mark when you are an ideologue. You won't accept the fact what took place here, what took place in Boston, what took place in Fort Hood, what took place in Orlando, because you don't believe in the right of people to own weapons. You think you can, uh, can outlaw this device, that device, and another device, and evil will go away. It's not going to happen, but Greg, you're a fraud. Let's move on. Yeah, I, I can tell he's a fraud, because he's actually arguing with me, even though the FBI confessed and was very sorry about it. You're really saying that they missed a generic lead? So he wants to outlaw all this stuff. A generic lead? He got a name? You know he has weapons? You know he's capable of using them and he's threatening to use them? Somebody contacts you? You see something, say something. And he's threatening to shoot up a school flag, you know, it's a generic lead. It's a generic lead? I don't have time for moronic ideologues. They, they should be hosts on CNN and MSNBC. Or take over for the morning schmo and Mrs. Schmo. Forrest, Minster, Ohio, on the Mark Levin app. How are you? Oh, I'm doing good, Mark. How are you doing tonight? Okay. Well, I wanted to talk about um, me being a millennial and whatnot, and how these left-wing media hacks are all blaming it on the millennials, and I think that's wrong. I, I it's just wrong. Well, they're blaming it on millennials to a point, and they're using millennials too. Yeah. So any 16-year-old who wants to speak out who's traumatized, uh, CNN's right there to interview them. Uh, CNN doesn't go into the inner cities in Chicago, in Philadelphia, in New York, in Los Angeles, and interview the victims there. And they're never going to. How many stories have they run on how uh, gang members and other killers get their weapons? They're not going to do stories on that. <clears throat> how many stories are they going to run on individuals who have concealed carry weapons who have actually limited the amount of carnage that a criminal or potential criminal would do. They have no interest in any of that. That's why they're, they're not news. They're not news. People talk about, oh, you know, when the Second Amendment was passed, there were muskets, which has nothing to do with anything. When the First Amendment was ratified, there were pamphlets. So what's the point? All right, Forrest, thank you for your call. God bless you, young man. I'll be right back. Mark Levin. spend a lot of time thinking about that crawl space under my house, and I'll bet you don't either. But if you suspect that rats, rodents, heat loss, water damage, even mold is getting into your crawl space, I've got to tell you about the company that sets the bar for fixing these problems for good. It's Lars here. I'm talking about Crawl Pros and owner Richard Aaron. Richard checked out my crawl space and found what we feared most. Rats, critters, failing insulation, and water. I got the most thorough evaluation I've ever received from a company, complete with photos of 
every corner of my crawl space. Now the rats are gone, the gaps are closed in. Enzyme treatment gets rid of the smell, and new insulation keeps our heat in. All of that done in just one day. You know, a lot of companies talk about guarantees, but Richard and Crawl Pros, they're the real deal. They have the perfect guarantee, and they mean it. Check out their five-star rating on Yelp. Get your free evaluation. Go to crawlpros.com. Serving the greater Puget Sound, and they just opened their third location in Portland.